Welcome to Urban Knife Guy and today we're going to have a look at putting together a first aid kit for hiking. In my previous video, I shared my survival pouch for hiking. If you missed it, do check out the link in the card above or the description below. All these items are contained in my main pack, uh, easy access and free for the survival kit, as well as this, a military field dressing. It's actually put in the same uh, top pouch as my survival pouch. And this is FAD or first aid dressing. It is military grade and held by every soldier so that in the event of a serious injury, such as a gunshot wound, this can be torn open. So it is waterproof. And inside there's a very thick, heavy gauze with tails that you can use to tie around a limb. Knot it really tight to put the pressure on that gauze pad. So this really is uh, in the event for very serious injury, but I keep that handy. In my main compartment of my pouch, I'll keep this uh, first aid kit. So this is a very simple, straightforward uh, nylon pack, which is uh, waterproof or at least water resistant, highly water resistant, and it's got a zip. And many people tend to overpack when it comes to a first aid kit for hiking. I definitely am guilty of that or was guilty of that previously, but I've definitely streamlined it down and it is pretty light. I think I've got the main essentials here and I also think about multi-functions when it comes to the items in the first aid kit as well. So inside, let's start off with this over here. So that's a bottle of hand sanitizer. Uh, if you're treating any kind of wounds, it's good to keep your hands clean when you're outdoors. Hands obviously very dirty. Uh, so we can sanitize our hands with this. Now you do not want to put this directly on a wound uh, that can actually uh, affect the flesh. Uh, even worse, if you put in uh, this, you know, 99, not 99%, but I believe it's about 70% alcohol. So that will be too strong for an open wound. Uh, at the very most, you might want to dilute this with water to clean it. If not for a wound, you really just want to use uh, clean water to flush it out. But this is more for the hands. And for dual purpose, uh, if you have a situation where you need to set a fire, you're out of tinder or it's really wet, you could actually use a bit of this, soak it with some tinder, uh, to catch a spark and uh, create a fire. So that's very useful in terms of a dual purpose. I've also got a snake bite kit over here. Uh, in the environment I am in, there are many snakes. Uh, I was just hiking the other day and almost stepped on a pretty long snake. It wasn't a python. Couldn't tell what snake it was, but it was just crossed my path, about two inches thick, 1.5 meters long. So pretty big snake. So we have a very simple tourniquet, which can be used for other things as well. Now, I don't have a combat tourniquet uh, within my kit here, uh, but this could be used to a certain extent and definitely with the snake bite kit and the extractor over here for venom. So I carry that as well. Super glue. This is a one-time use disposable glue, very uh, efficient packaging and can be used to seal wounds in a pinch bunch of different tablets here, uh, oral medication. So you can choose what sort of medication you want to bring around. Now, I really just brought essentials. I've got some painkillers, uh, some for stomach upsets, diarrhea. Uh, this is an all-purpose kind of a painkiller. So you decide what you want if you have uh, certain uh, conditions that you might need medication for. You want to pack this in as well, but you do not need to overpack. Now, I think in terms of uh, what I'm packing for, I'm generally packing for day hikes uh, with the possibility of scenarios where I may need to spend the night, maybe one or two nights in emergencies. Uh, but generally, it's for day hikes. So if I was going for a much longer trip, I might increase uh, the number of tablets I bring over here. In terms of first aid, uh, in terms of, I guess, uh, bandages and such. So what I have here is some plasters or bandages. I've got gauze, alcohol prep pads, iodine prep pads, uh, different sizes of gauze and bandages. And I've also got this antiseptic cream, which is sealed in uh, these straws. And this is also part of my urban survival tin, which I shared in another video. They can check out in the link above or the card below. So that's all I carry this, I guess what you call a boo-boo pouch. Uh, more for morale than anything else. If you really have a serious wound, you won't use this. You might go so far to use the FAD. 
these are magic towels basically these are the expanding towels where you add water and it expands to uh, you know create a small uh, serviette or cloth towel so it takes up very little space but you might need this again uh, to clean your hands or clean wounds and the final two items inside I've got some hydration tablets so this is really effervescence uh, tablets really used to hydrate and replenish uh, fast if needed especially in a situation where uh, a person is dehydrated and finally eye drops again one-time use drops disposable drops but if you need to clean your eyes get dust or sand out of them uh, this of course is going to be very useful so that's it. That is all I carry in my first aid kit for hiking. The goal is to keep it light, uh, but have all the essentials that I need for myself. And if I happen to come across any hikers who may also need help. Well, let me know if you carry a first aid kit for hiking. And if so, what do you put inside? Do you put the same stuff or do you have other things to recommend? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you soon.